What's up, guys? Pet Man Matt Mar here, bringing you the best to last uh, for this week's action. And let's jump right into it. Number 22 is Garinger. No change in their ranking. They lost to Butler last week. Number 21, Hopewell. No change in their ranking. They lost to Huff last week. Number 20 is West Charlotte. Um, they dropped one spot, losing to Mallard Creek. Um, you know, all the changes and everything going on. Um, you know, it's a tough situation, but, um, you know, they, they're going to persevere through it. Uh, I think there are some good coaches over there that's going to keep the kids motivated to play football, and um, hopefully they'll get a couple wins before this year is out. Uh, number 19 is Harding. They dropped one spot this week after losing to South Mech at home. Number 18 is Barry, uh, dropping one spot after losing to Catholic this week. Uh, number 17 uh, is Independence, moving up three spots. Despite the loss to East Mech, you can see the progress um, they're making. Uh, East Mech's a good team, and they were competitive in that game, only losing by eight points. Number 16, no change in their ranking is Olympic. They lost to Providence. Uh, they did put up a lot of points, though they gave up a lot of points, so um, they pretty much stay where they are. Number 15 is North Mech, dropping one spot in their loss to A.L. Brown to open conference play. Number 14 is Rocky River, uh, dropping one spot after losing to Myers Park at home. Number 13, moving up two spots, is Providence. Uh, impressive win over Olympic. Um, they put up 63 points in that game. And I tell you, from uh, the start of the season, when we were looking at Providence and talking about them to where they are now, Coach Brad Bowles is getting it done and improving that team. And uh, somebody, you're going to have to watch in conference play if you're in the South Mech 8. And you're in uh, one of those top teams and you're caught slipping, sleeping on them. They could upset you. Number 12 uh, is Porter Ridge. They lost to Marvin Ridge. However, they did play well in that game against a pretty good team. Uh, so no change of where they are. Number 11 is Audrey Kell. Uh, dropping one spot and uh, losing to West Mech. And, you know, they, they played well on offense in spots. But um, they gave up 47. Um, so, you know, tough loss. But they... I think they're still in that tier of good teams that we have right in this area. Uh, number 10 is East Mech. They move up one spot with their win over Independence. Uh, number 9 is South Mech. Even though they won over Harding, I did drop them one spot, and I'll tell you why here in a second. Uh, same thing with A.L. Brown. Uh, they dropped one spot winning over North Mech uh, to number 8. Uh, West Mech. I saw them in person. And I had to move them up two spots to uh, number seven. And um, I, I almost moved them up to number six, but um, I held back a little bit. Um, but they are very impressive. Um, that offense is, is going to be tough to stop, I'll tell you. you get, you're going to have to get pressure and then be able to cover at the same time. And I, I would re I'm really anxious to see them against some uh, some other teams here. Uh, number six is Huff. They um, won over Hopewell. No change in their ranking. And the top five did not change either. Number five, Myers Park. Uh, with their win over Rocky River, no change in their ranking. Number four, Charlotte Catholic. The win over Barry, uh, no change in their ranking. Three is Vance. They had a bye. Uh, they got a big game this week coming up with A.L. Brown, uh, but no change. Butler winning over Ganger. No change in their ranking. And still for me, number one is Mallard Creek. Uh, winning over West Charlotte. And they did a cool thing. Um, one of their photographers took a lot of pictures of the West Charlotte um, team, players, and staff, and shared that with them. Uh, it's cool to see uh, Mallard Creek supporting West Charlotte during this time. And um, that's what really Charlotte is all about, especially in Charlotte High School football. All the kids supporting each other as coaches. Coaching staffs helping people out. I remember I was at Harding a couple years ago, and uh, Huff helped us out with a helmet situation we were having. So uh, that's why I love um, doing this for everyone in Charlotte. I think we got the best football in the state, obviously, some of the best talent in the state. And um, it's a passion for us, and we love doing it here at CarolinaVarsity.com. Uh, so that's the best of last for this week. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. We appreciate it, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.